Hey guys, as you can see, um, my uh, left Falcon 1 wing door is still detecting stuff. But that's another issue, I already made a video about that. But uh, this video is basically to show you how the sensors work in the outside of the Falcon wing door. So, if you look at the Falcon wing door, right, and uh, you're seeing the screen right now, there is a sensor about here in the middle. So if I were to start walking towards the sensor, you should be able to see on the screen that is detecting me. And the closer I get, it, uh, it, it, you know, at a certain point it turns red, meaning it can no longer open the door. It can no longer open the door upwards without hitting whatever is there like my belly right so the problem with this is that this sensor array here I don't know whether there's one or two I'm, I'm assuming that there's at least two sensors here because when it comes up um, you're gonna see that it actually one is like pointing uh, kind of downwards and then one is pointing outwards so the problem is that Tesla has used um, so Tesla so the problem is that uh, Tesla is ah shit sorry guys uh, I needed to keep the driver door open for that uh, the console screen to stay on so that you can see what's going on but uh, anyway so the pro back to where what we were talking about so there's a uh, sensor array somewhere around here and um, it uh, basically detects stuff that is uh, downwards slightly downwards this way and uh, towards you so the problem that I've been trying to get to in this video is that that sensor is used to control how wide that door opens so if uh, basically Tesla, I don't know what went through their mind or whatever that they think that um, you only park next to solid objects like a wall or something or um, a car that's right next to you but in the real world it doesn't happen that way you're gonna have a situation where you pull up next to a car uh, and your driver door I mean your 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 front doors are only gonna be next to another car so the the, the, the Falcon wing door is not gonna detect detect that so what happens when it doesn't detect it and you go ahead and open the door you're basically going to slam it because uh, well you're basically going to have this door hit whatever the object is so I can think of another scenario where you you're basically pulled up next to a uh, hydrant let's say there's a hydrant here on this door but there's nothing there or even a utility pole which we get a lot in uh, I mean, in the city and whatnot, when you're parallel parking, sometimes you are you have to stand by a hydrant or a pole, right? And the Falcon Wing doors is not going to detect anything because nothing's there. The pole is here. So there's no sensors in these doors preventing the door from opening and hitting it. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate right now and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, uh, my ping pong table it's called the killer spin <laughs> and uh, I'm going to tape some something to it give me a second tape this uh, basically cardboard and I uh, hope it's not something solid so what I'll do is I'll position this next to this door if you're looking on if you're looking on the screen 
if you're looking on the screen uh, you should not see any object uh, I'll move it a little bit closer so that when the door opens I'll hit it so again you should not see anything on the screen let me uh, walk around just to double check uh, I know that the, the sensor is like right here so if I were to walk closely it's right there or if I were to move this over like this you should see the the sensor a light up on the screen so let me move this back over like here where it's not detecting it anymore okay and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna mount my So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this on a tripod so that you can see what happens uh, when we open the door from the inside. Here we go. It's not detecting something over there so Hello, passenger door. So someone opens the door, or I open the door for somebody that's coming, and uh, this would this would be what's gonna happen. So there's not a lot of force in that. Uh, I know for a fact because it, it uh, that's just the way it is. So let me close it back. And I'm going to go outside and I'm going to measure the force by opening it. So I'm going to get closer. And uh, use my, again, my trusty force meter. We're going to reset it to zero pounds. And I'm going to basically place it right here. Kind of awkward. And uh, if you can see on the screen, it's not detecting anything, right? Oh, actually, sometimes it detects something. So what I'm going to have to do is move the camera back. And then uh, zoom in a little bit. So, okay. Now on the... Uh, I'm going to try to do this so that I can capture it. So as you can see, when I'm walking back and forth, it's probably detecting me. But now that I'm standing somewhere over here, or what I'll do is I'll move the, the killer spin away. And I'm just going to stand here and place this on my uh, hands and hold it. And I'm going to open the door. Uh, as you can see on the screen, it's not detecting me. So if I put my hand somewhere over here, it's going to detect it, right? But if I take it away, it goes away. Put my hand somewhere over here, it detects it. Okay, so somewhere around here is where the sensor is. So again, I'm going to hold this. I'm going to open the door. And if you look, it's really nothing. It's, it's, it's less than 10 pounds. Oh, sorry. It's less than 10 pounds of force. So, uh, I don't know why when Tesla needs to close the door, it does it with such force. So, it's 10 pounds. I'll do that experiment one more time. And, uh, and 
basically stand a little bit further out just like just like with the um, um, the the other experiments I've done it's the swing that that really causes the problem right so let's see how far away it swings so if you can see it slows down towards the end of the swing so it's it seems like it's the most uh, power somewhere around here like in the beginning of the range but you're really not going to hit the object usually you're parked about a foot away somewhere around here and when you swing out you're going to hit the object somewhere around here so I'm going to simulate that and uh, it's now reset and I'm going to open the door and it stops around 10 pounds of force no, really nothing hope you can see it is it focusing on this? ok here we go so it's uh, 10, 10 pounds of force really nothing so the other thing is I showed you before in my other video that when it closes it uses up to 50 pounds of force when it slams it I don't know why it does it it, it shouldn't need to um, so uh, let me turn off the other camera because we don't need it anymore <laughs> 